Hi, Jonathan. Super quick. Um, I've, I've quickly built it, so I don't have access to the WhatsApp uh, business, uh, business thing, right? The business cloud or whatever it's called. Um, so I just asked ChatGBT how the output looks like, like the JSON output um, of the, yeah, right, you know, of the, of the WhatsApp webhook. When a message comes in, it gives you some JSON. So I asked ask ChatGBT how does that look like? Uh, and it actually gave me so, uh, an answer. <clears throat> so it should technically look something like this. So let me show you in large. You have uh, one bundle object uh, is your WhatsApp business account. Then in entry, you have a collection with the ID or WhatsApp business account ID, changes, one field messages, value messages, li like this. It should look like this. Right here is your body. Then you have your contact. So uh, right here is the WhatsApp ID. This is, should basically be the ID let me let me call it this way whatsapp id this is basically the id of the user i would guess like right because it's saved under the profile then you have metadata and you have the phone number and stuff like this but um i think the whatsapp id is better to go off uh not 100 percent sure if you say the phone number is better then go with the phone number but what i basically want to show you is this is the output it gives and what this automation now does and I will let it run through in a second now. It basically, I have uh, I've set up a Google Sheet, super quick, super easy. One, one sheet, one page with, with a header. One is WhatsApp ID and one is Thread ID, just so that it basically has a little database of, of those values, right? Because we want to know which WhatsApp ID belongs to which Thread ID in the end. So then we have our first module, uh, Google Sheets, search rows. What we do here is we select this WhatsApp example. That's how I called it, right? Uh, sheet one, uh, table contains headers, yes. Column range A to C is enough because we only have A and B. Uh, and then as filter, you take WA ID, so WhatsApp ID equals to, and then you just open this up, go all the way down here to contacts to WhatsApp ID. So the WhatsApp ID, so we filter for rows where this, this field, uh, this cell um, equals to the WhatsApp ID of the incoming message, right? And we only want to limit this to one. It should only return one, right? If it would return more than one, it should technically always return either zero or one. If it returns over one, like let's say we remove that limit, it returns over one, there's something wrong, right, Ent entirely. But I like to limit it to one because, yeah, <laughs> right, because one is enough. <laughs> so uh, you can leave that as uh, the way you want. And what it now does is it either returns us zero, this means that the user, there is no entry yet. The user hasn't been created. There was no thread ID that has been created yet. The, um, so it's the very first message from this WhatsApp profile, right? And if it returns one, then it already found it in the database, meaning this user has messaged before and we want to get the thread. What we do now is we add a router and under this router we have um, two filters, right? So the first one, the upper one is if the chat exists, the lower one is if the chat doesn't exist. So um, up here we have basically this filter, chat exists, you set this to, as fallback route to no, condition total number of bundles, so you get from the Google Sheet, uh, from that module total number of bundles equal to one, right? That's when it exists, it found one. Then you just add the message and assistant, you select your assistant, you select the role user, and then the message, you just select the message from in here, because um, technically, if I'm correct, I've just mapped it directly like this. There should only be like one message that you get at a time, uh, and there shouldn't be like any la arrays of several values. There should only be like one bundle in each because you only get one message, right? So you should be able to just map it the way I do here, just clicking it. Uh, if there is some way where, for example, in messages, there are several different, um, 
different entries, different collections, different bundles, whatever, uh, then you, you'll have to see how you do it. But select it this way and see if it works and it, it technically should work. But I, as I said, I don't know the exact output the WhatsApp uh, bundle gives you, uh, the WhatsApp module, I mean, I'm sorry. So this is the message, uh, image files, uh, you, can, you can map that if you want, if the user can send images or something and it should uh, be able to read them, shouldn't be a problem, right? You can also add image URLs instead. So whatever WhatsApp gives you, if they give you the file data or if they give you the image URL, both should work fine. And then as thread ID, because obviously the chat exists, we just take the thread ID from the search rows Google Sheets module. Just this thread ID right here, because again, there's only one. So we don't have any annoying stuff with more, more than one bundle, um, more than one collection, stuff like this. The, uh, that's basically what's annoying always in scenarios. But in this case, that shouldn't be the case at all, right? Tool choice, you can set to whatever you want. I've set it to auto, so I don't know. And then under advanced options, if you want, you can set up some other stuff here. This is basically what that uh, route looks like. And then you would add the last module, which is which is WhatsApp, send a message. Um, you have the uh, connection already created. Then you select as chat ID or whatever you use for that. Uh, you probably select the same ID. You probably also select under contacts, this WhatsApp ID, or maybe under messages, this um, ID. Yeah, probably, oh no, I don't know, from maybe, or oh, that, that's actually the same right here. So yeah, yeah, you'll just see which one you connect. You should already know that, right? But that's basically the last module, but I can't set it up, so I'll remove it. And then for the, the second way down here, the chat doesn't exist. Um, basically the other way around, you can set this as fallback um, route. Oh, you, you don't have to. Um, total number of bundles, again, in this case, equal to zero. Then you message an assistant. And here you set up basically the exact same. You put in the message again, but you don't put in a thread ID, right? Here you don't have a thread ID, so you create a new thread by not providing a thread ID. Here you uh, you input the thread ID because it already exists and you want to continue this thread. Now, last after you've created this new thread here, you want to add a row to Google Sheets, the chat ID being, yeah, the, the chat ID. So you take that from, from the from the WhatsApp module at the very beginning, you take the WhatsApp ID again, and then the thread ID, you take it from this um, OpenAI uh, message and assistant, you right here have the thread ID right there, right? You take that and if you send a message to this thread ID in the future, it, it will go through, right? It will be in this thread because if now that's automatically saved. When the user sends a second message, it goes through that whole workflow again. It starts It starts here, here it comes in. Then it searches the rows again. But this time, since it's the second or later message, not the first anymore, it will find that row and it will always go with the upper upper route. So for the only for each user's first message, it will go right here and then the lo lower route. And obviously here you also add the WhatsApp send a message module at the end. And um, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. And I can run it once. And since I have some random um, placeholder stuff in here, you can see the contact WhatsApp ID is some random string. So it won't find it now because this is completely empty, right? So it will go the lower route. Um, Ta-da, it went down here because it didn't find something. We have zero output bundles. So it went down here. Um, it automatically sent the message. Hello, I have a question about your service, which was just the placeholder message. Um, what it did now is it created a thread ID right here. That's what we want. And then obviously it has the content. Um, of course, I'm here to help. What would you like to know about our service? And obviously you have your assistant, which is already trained uh, and everything. You have the instructions uh, already set and everything. So it will be custom to your use case, use case, right? Um, and now afterwards it added a new, a new row. So if we go in here, perfect. We have the WhatsApp ID and we have the thread ID. 
And now, um, now if we would send a message again, it would just go uh, the upper way and it will remember what I just said. So I can just write in here, what, what did I, what did I just write? Right, uh, I, I ask him, so let's see if it works. That is the best way to basically show it. It should go up, yes, it goes up here. And now let's see what it outputs. Uh, come on. <laughs> let's see if everything, if I've set up everything correctly. Content, text, you wrote, hello, I have a question about your service. If you have a specific question or something you'd like to discuss regarding our service, feel free to ask. Perfect. It works flawlessly. It works absolutely amazing. So I really hope this helps. I will now download the blueprint, export the blueprint and attach it to my message. You have a good one. And um, yeah, I really hope I could help. Goodbye.